Hello and welcome to another episode of Spurverts. I am here with Craig Mitch as per. This week we're going to be talking about Vincent, not Victor, Vincent Janssen <laughs> officially signing for Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, the new kits have been revealed. Uh, Hugo and France lost in the Euros final. What does that mean for Spurs? Uh, Pochettino's dawn of a new era, which Craig has some issues with, uh, and some social media things to finish off, which are Spurs on tour and Eric Dyer's water sports. But first of all, Vincent Janssen has been announced as a yes. Spurs signing. What do you make of it? I just like to put out there that obviously I was confusing our two new signings. I was merging one yeah, Yama right. and Janssen by mistake. But it's all good, okay? My heart was in the right place. <laughs> Vincent Janssen has joined Spurs. Um, yes. I'm happy we have a striker. Yeah, really. I'm not, not going to sit here and act like I know a lot about the guy. No, we don't know anything. Don't watch the Eredivisie. Scored a lot of goals in hardly any games. That's, that's always good. It so doesn't matter good. what league it is. It's a top flight league. I think on average, last season, he scored every 102 minutes. Is that, is that an actual stat? I think so. Okay, well, that's, that's amazing. Like, that's exactly what we it's need. It's very good. It's exa it is exactly what we and, need. And, and this is a guy that was linked to PSG, yep. potentially. We Sacked them off. Exactly, exactly. Stick. So it, it's going to be, I think it's going to be good for us. Him and Harry Kane, competition there. Yeah. He's up for it, he Especially said. Especially after Harry's Euros. It'd be good if maybe, like last season, obviously, Harry was a slow starter. Obviously, yeah. he ended up winning the Golden Boot and stuff. But mm. it'd be nice if, if, he's, if he starts slowly. He's got a bit of competition. Well, you actually up. want him to start yeah, slowly. To what? If. if. Not okay. when, okay. if. Okay. If, if it happens to happen again. All right. Well, I'm not going to put that in the universe. I want him to hit the ground running. But I don't believe in that. But oh, you don't believe in energy, Ruth. I don't believe in energy. Well, anyway. <laughs> Look at the way I act. Vincent Janssen. Um, yeah, I want the competition to, to really heat up. I want them to keep each other on their toes. Yeah. I want it to become fierce in a, in a, in a nice way, competitive in the, bromance in the, type of way. Yeah, in the Kieran Trippier. Uh, Kyle Walker way. Yeah, exactly. Ben Davies, Danny Rose kind of way, where they all just improve together. Only one man can come out on top because we don't play a 4 4 2. So, you know, one of them has to come out on but top. But it'd be nice to have a striker to come off the bench for once as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, because we had no ideas last season. No, like, occasionally NG would come off the bench, but then he got injured for ages. Exactly, and, and then it really was like Son. Notice. Actually, Son scored a couple. He did, but it's again, it's not like an out and out striker. Yeah. But they, so it'll be good. I think it'll be good. 22 million euros. What do you make of that? Uh, a lot of money. More than we wanted to pay. 18.8 million apparently. Yeah. Um, God damn it, Brexit. But I mean, come on. Like, strikers aren't cheap. Yeah. Look at, look at the market this at the moment. This doesn't seem like that much, yeah, given yeah. some of the players and how much they're going for at the moment. Yeah, it's, not, it's, it's not that bad. Do we know how much he's on? No, but That'll it be won't interesting. be much. I don't think it'll be that much. He's a young guy. We'll see. If any of you have sources, let us know in the a, comments below. from a poorly paid league. It's got to be pretty reasonable. Yeah. Although, yeah, turn down PSG, supposedly. If you and make could, it off a shit ton If of you cash. could hazard a guess, ballpark, what would, would, would you reckon? 40k. Typical Levy, isn't it? <laughs> well, I don't know, I'm guessing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's typical Levy. What would your guess be? Around, around the same amount. Yeah, good, solid guess. Uh, okay, <laughs> now the new kits have been revealed for 2016-17. Yeah. And uh, it is the one that we were talking about before as the rumoured kit. That yep. is the home kit. We were, we were right, although we said it every time the kit was rumoured. So yep. we were bound to be right. Um, <laughs> it's just the law of averages. I know that you've already got it. You've got the Champions League oh, badge on the oh, sleeve. Oh, yeah. Seen it on Instagram, yes, mate, and Snapchat. Yes, yes. Uh, not Facebook, we're not friends on there. What do you make of the kits? I like it, and I like the home kit by a mile more than any of the others. Really? I mean, the blue ah, one. I prefer the blue one. It grew on me because my friend got it, and I saw it in person. Shout out Chris Bell. Yeah, you wore it well. Good um, it looks good in person. I didn't like it when I saw it online, the initial images, but I still, I always go for the home kit. I love the white kits, and um, I'm loving the, the gold detailing on them. Yeah, that's, okay. that's That's the kind of thing they're putting out there, because gold, Associated with first place, that's what we want to put into yeah. the universe. We need to get this universe right. thing out. I think there. that's what we're doing. Okay. Yes. I don't know, man. I preferred last year's home kit. I like last year's home the kit. The sash. A lot. Yes, with the sash, with the seatbelt. I prefer oh, that. Seatbelt's gone. Mate. I like the home kit. It just seems it's a bit. It's fine. It's a bit bland. You reckon? I like the first away kit, the blue kit. Yeah. Uh, the gold one. No, 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 no. I'll Not be so sure. I'll be honest though. I was praying that AIA would just go away somewhere and disappear. They are. Stand they are. That AI. I think this is the last year of AIA potentially. So it's going to be like Nike next season and who knows? Yeah. Go across who knows? Mansion casinos again. I don't know. Ah, oh, don't. Hopefully something them. not red. That would be the dream. Yeah, that would be beautiful. So you already you got the home kit. You're not getting any more. Um, I mean the gold one. It's a throwback, like Barnaby said. You know, he's fancying that one. It's I think. a throwback to League Two for me. <laughs> Seems like a League Two kit. Have you seen Leicester's got a similar kit with like pinstripes as well? Oh I just come on, God. like you, you just want to do everything we're doing. <laughs> I can't stand them guys. Like winning the league, 
Oh, shit. Uh, wait, we didn't do that. <laughs> okay, uh, Hugo Lloris. Speaking of losers, yep. uh, Hugo Lloris <laughs> lost. <laughs> <laughs> only I'm in a literal sense, only literally is he a loser because he lost in the final of the Euros. And it was devastating for him, of course. He had a great tournament. He was quality. Uh, quite unlucky to lose. Portugal were very, very lucky to win the Euros. Do you agree with that? I'm devastated. Yeah? I'm devastated. I hate you. Ugh, I haven't done this in a while. Ah! I'm so angry. <laughs> Why is football like this, Reese? Why? Why? I pay my taxes, okay? I give to charity, okay? I bath every day. <laughs> Right? What? Why? Why? Have a shower, mate. It's Whatever. I bathe. I bathe, <laughs> Reese. Okay? I'm a stand up guy. I'm not a stand up comedian, but I'm a stand up guy. And I don't deserve this. All I wanted to do was see. Stop squeaking! All I wanted to see was a Spurs player lift some silverware in this tournament. We've got them <laughs> sprawled out across countries, across nations, and not one of them pricks could lift this trophy. Why? They lose 5 1 to Newcastle, and somehow. Two and a half months later, Reese, I let it slide. I've got over it just about, okay? And it was hard. It was hard. And then our England players go and put in that pathetic performance, and even that was hard. And then Hugo was the only saving grace. That was a given. They must have been odds on to win that game. The yeah, captain they lifted favorites. in the trophy. I would have bet good money on them to. Thank God I didn't do it. It's a joke. And now we're just doomed to be losers. Thank that's God, it. thank God you didn't bet any of that money because you could league give it all to charity. Winners. That's all we winners. are, that's all we do. We win League Cups. Oh, Capo, we're going to go. That's all we've Since I've been alive, that's all we've won. <laughs> Since I've been alive, Reese, that is all we've won. That was a long time ago as well. Our players don't win things, Reese. They just don't. That's just the way it is. <laughs> okay? They don't. We yeah. don't have players that play for Spain and win stuff because they've been winning stuff the last few years internationally. We don't have players that play for Germany, Reese. We don't have anyone that wins anything, even outside of Spurs. Such is life. So are you saying oh. you were unhappy with the result of the final? Is that your, what you're saying? You didn't, Reece! Have, you didn't want Portugal to win. I'm, get, I'm getting that you didn't want Portugal to win. I don't know if I'm... This is not the time for jokes, mate. Picking up on it's the wrong... It's not the time for jokes. <laughs> Signals. Okay? I'm close to the edge right now. Do you now. think it's going to impact uh, next season on Hugo? I, I, what I worry about Hugo is... And I, the rest of them, not just yeah, Hugo. Yeah, yeah, but with Hugo especially, because he's one of our senior players, he's probably one of the oldest players in our team, with him, it's like, he's been at Spurs for a while now, and he hasn't won anything, and he's a world-class keeper, and, and he doesn't want to get to a stage in his career where it's like, well, I haven't, I haven't won anything here. I've dedicated, I've been loyal to this team, stayed here, when potentially I could have went PSG or a bigger club and won things. All right, it's just league on, but still. Yeah, it's not worth it. He could have won things. And now, I thought if he won this cup, it would kind of keep him nice for a while, a nice big Euro European trophy there to kind of nice. take away from the, the bad things that happen at Spurs. And, and now is nothing. If he'd won, then they'd suddenly, he'd suddenly go for 60 million. You reckon his price yeah. tag would have just went through the roof? Yeah, and then someone would have bought him and Levy would have accepted it. So and he just Bourne stays at Spurs. would have to stay off your blacklist because okay. he'd be on a Bourne keeper. So he just stays at Spurs and we maintain so this maybe, kind of consistent loser mentality. It's, maybe it's a good thing. Great. He didn't join Spurs to win things. Come on, mate. Yeah, you're right. Be realistic. Yeah, you're right. He joined Spurs so that Real Madrid would have a look at him. You're right. And we'll see what happens. But. We're going to win the Champions League next year, so it doesn't matter. Oh, happen. Portugal! <laughs> oh. You're not happy for Ronaldo? Not no, happy for Edda? No, no. <laughs> Can't stand Portugal. The only thing I like about Portugal is Nando's. Fair enough. And that was invented in South Africa. Pochettino's dawn of a new era. And what is this? Tell me about this. Pochettino so, said it's a new he era. He said it's going to be the most successful, well, he believes it's going to be the most successful era so far. This is, this is what he believes. He thinks we're in going Spurs into the... history. <sighs> I don't know if he meant it like that, right. but he's saying we're going into a successful era and he, he believes we're going to achieve great things. And what, that me what he means by that, I have no idea. Because to him, oh, finishing is third is, 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 you know, achieving great things. What does he mean? That's that so vague. Finishing third is an achievement, is a good, is a good, solid achievement that at the start of last season, we all would have taken. Oh, okay. Because the but last the time I checked, Reece, you don't get medals for circumstances. You don't get things, you don't, you don't win it. There's nothing you can put in your trophy cabinet for third. The last time I checked. We don't want to have that Arsenal mentality where they're like, yeah, top four, like it's a trophy. I don't want that. I want trophies. That's so what I want. I want a trophy. Would, would you rather we finished fifth last year and won the League Cup? No. I, I right, just made fun of the League Cup. FA Cup. No, the Europa. Right, I took so the do Europa. you want trophies or not? I would have took the Europa. I would have took the Europa because then we would have got Champions League anyway. How about that? How about that? Why don't we just win the Europa? 
And then we would have had a trophy and we would have had Champions League. Yeah, but Dortmund absolutely battered us. Yeah, and then we Liverpool battered them. We were rubbish. They were beatable. They, they were beatable. But them. Poch, Poch wanted to play a rubbish 11. Yeah, and who true. did we have on the weekend? Uh, Can't even remember. That's Bournemouth? how crap they was. Villa. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Really won that Liverpool too, played their, their strongest team and they beat Dortmund. We could have did it. We could have did it. Shut Normally. up! <laughs> this chair. <laughs> if, if you can't hear that squeaking, that looks like Craig just shut up to his own crotch. Um, <laughs> so normally you reserve this kind of anger for mid-season when stuff's actually happening. Oh. It's clear that not enough's going on and you've just got, just you just want to get it out there. Fair enough. Reese, I'm worried. I'm just worried about next season. I feel like all the other teams are strengthening. Everyone's getting their arsenal ready, no pun intended. Their artillery, they're stocking up, they're getting good managers, good players. And we're here signing... Okay, players, they're, they're decent. Oh, mate, they're literally, decent. They're decent. in they're this decent. same video, you were talking about him being a quality signing. No, I said, but I said we need a striker. <laughs> I said we're happy we got a striker, <laughs> but he's not, do you know what I mean? He's not, he's not Ibrahimovic. He's not Aubameyang. Nah, but you've got to be realistic. You've got to be realistic. Those I just guys. saw Griezmann score six goals in the Euros. Oh, so you want us to sign Griezmann? You think Griezmann? Well, Janssen was probably over having there. Having been player of the Euros is now going to sign for Spurs. I'm just saying that's that's having been that's in the, the Champions League final there. last season. He's I'm now just saying sign no, for Spurs. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that quality is out there, and we're going for. Let's. Ju I'm just calling it how it is. We're going for decent players. Decent. You know, we'll we're see. not going for. We're, we're, uh, don't be mad at me. I'm not no, the one no, no, signing no. these decent players. I'm not mad I'm about the signing. I'm just saying there's great players out there. Great, and we're just getting decent players. What about Goethe? What about the rumours about Goethe? You want Goethe? World Cup winner. He needs to lose Score a, the winning goal. He needs to lose a few pounds, man. Right. I saw him coming for Germany. So everyone's looked, got issues. He looks a bit... He needs to shape up a bit, yeah, he's man. a German boy. He likes his chocolate. He likes his bratwurst. Well, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want Goethe. Uh, OK, let's see if you can spin this into an angry rant. Uh, there's been a lot of holiday loving for Lamella, Vertonghen and Dembele. Uh, Vertonghen posted an Instagram picture of them all hanging out at sea with the caption Spurs on tour. They're all mates, they're all being good lads. Mm. Do you want them back in training though? Is that the way you're gonna do this? Go and be professional, stop going on holiday all the time. You had a bad Euros, you need to get back in training. Or are you going, yeah, it's great, they're mates, they're bonding. They're bonding? They've known each other for years now. Yeah, what? How long have they known each other oh, right, for, Reese? Bonding? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, much, it's, been like, it? it's been like two, three years, Reese. So why do they need to go B for? Of all places, why couldn't they go somewhere spiritual? Okay, why didn't they go somewhere where a Buddha was, like the Leicester players brought in the Buddha? They should have went somewhere there. They should have went Asia and got spiritually connected, okay, enlightened themselves and got a deep connection and really found themselves as human beings so that they could instill some winning mentality into their lives, Reese. Instead, they were having it large on yachts and boats and dinghies or whatever they were on, okay, and, acting, and just acting like their whole Euros and Copper Americas didn't go up in flames. It completely sunk. And maybe that boat should have sunk. Uh, maybe not, because I need them for next season. But they shouldn't be doing that. Why are they doing that? <laughs> right. Why are they out just doing that? Just come back to pre-season already and just get serious. Do you know who we've got in pre-season right now? Bentaleb, Trippier, <laughs> Mason. Don't forget, guys Clinton that are going to play no Clinton and G. Guys that are going to play no role in this season are out here training for us. What? What? Ericsson's training with people he's not even going to be playing with. This they need no a break. Sense. They need a break. These guys have already had their break. God, I just don't know what's going on anymore, You've man. You've never been on holiday before? I don't play football, Reese. Oh, mate, you go to Dubai with Mika Richards all the time. True, uh, true. Eric Dyer. Now, this is, this is the same problem. This is the same problem. Eric Dyer posted an Instagram picture of him also at sea on a flyboard, one of those yeah. like hoverboard things that fires water out, yeah. and you go 20 foot into the air. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I don't, I don't have a problem with Eric Dyer. Because Eric Dyer had a good Euros, as far as I'm concerned, one of only England's only good players. He performed, he showed up, showed passion, scored a good free kick. He showed passion throughout the whole season for Spurs. He's a passionate individual. I like him. I, the rest of these boys, I don't know what they're on about. They just want to be the Brady Bunch all the time and hang around and be happy. Eric Dyer's just a passionate <laughs> guy. That's the type of thing he'll do. While these guys are just posing on boats, Eric Dyer's really out here. Just blasting himself in the sea <laughs> like a transformer. <laughs> just really just like, that's what he's about. I like Eric Dyer, man. He can get away with whatever what he wants to do. What if he gets do. injured? What if it injures him? Oh, on the hard water. Okay. Actually, water's pretty hard. <laughs> I've been on water before. It's pretty hard. It is hard. Yeah, I, haven't you know what? I don't know. If he I don't know. I don't know if he should. He should be doing that. Actually, when I think about it. What if he actually gets injured? We're we're done for. 
Our players aren't serious. So I do not need to be in this video. <laughs> I do not need to be here. Okay, that is the end of Spurbert. So let us know if you have any opinions nearly as passionate as Craig's there. Uh, are all these things the end of the world? Is Vincent Janssen a good signing? Are you happy with that? He's uh, a good signing. Which is your favourite kit of the three? Uh, is Hugo, I mean, is Hugo a loser? Is it going to affect him next season? You know, is he going to sign for Real Madrid or PSG? Whatever Craig reckons. Uh, Pochettino's dawn of a new era. Is it going to be a successful era for us? Uh, what do you make of Lamela, Jan and Dembele? Should they be back in training or is it fine to be on holiday? Or should they have gone somewhere spiritual? Uh, and Eric Dyer on a flyboard. Check out that picture and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new. And we will see you next time. Hi everybody, welcome along to another edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk with me, Emma Storey, the lovely Craig Mitch oh, and the equally lovely Rhys James. 